Hello everyone, my name is Kurazar, and welcome back to Vintage Story Desert Life, episode 89. This video was originally streamed live on YouTube on September 15th, 2024. I hope you enjoyed the episode. Hello, hello everybody. My name is Kurazar, and welcome back to Vintage Story Desert Life, where we are here in new clothes. I forgot I had those. I kind of don't like the yellow. It's it's okay. But that, that line in the middle is a little a little big. Maybe if either that were smaller, which I know it can't be, or the, the yellow on the outsides was like one voxel rather than two. But uh, we'll see. We've got Hopeful Dreamer here as well. Welcome, welcome. And now the, the question that has been burning in Ngoxeron's uh, mind and on their, on their tongue is, what are we doing today? Well, I have a list here. Uh, I, I did move over the glass and gold acquisition as a stretch goal because I, I missed them during the short stream. We were too busy uh, mining lead, mostly. Uh, and so that will be that will be the, the sort of long-term thing. Uh, I have... We're going to harvest the pomegranate and olive trees. That'll take a little bit, like yeah, a couple minutes. No biggie. Uh, I want to terraform the new base, and we're going to need some dirt for that. So we're going to have to ransack some of these plateaus or some of the probably farther out locations where we can sort of flatten a little hill here and there. I don't like digging out big, like, pit mines. Oh, hello. Look at that guy over there in the corner. This guy. Um, so I don't, I don't like digging pit mines and, and leaving big scars in the land, so we'll try to take it, you know, consciously. We're, we're eco-friendly here. Oh, get your hand down. Uh, and then I have down here a Cinnabar and DS. Yes. Oh, my editor is telling me that it says dies. Yes, dies. Dies, dies. That's what it is. All right. Well, with that being said, uh, let's get to it. Oh, and someone mentioned... <laughs> someone had a good idea here. Uh, do I have any trap doors left? I don't. Let's make one. And I forget who it was, so I apologize. But let's build a trap door. And put it at the top here. That way, when I want to line up, I can just walk against the trap door. Boop. There we go. <laughs> so, thank you to whoever that was. <laughs> that makes life so much easier. I was being a dope about that for a long time. <laughs> Alright, let's go and get us some pomegranates, because we have... Oh, this one is also fruiting as well. Nice. We've got nine days of fruit. So, we'll want to get these now, just to get them in... Oh my goodness, we have a lot of pomegranates. That's a lot of fruit. Okay. Well. <laughs> well, well, well. I'm just going to spread all these out in our inventory here. Let's just move this. There we go. And let's see who else is in chat while I'm thinking about this. Uh, we've got Sergei Kamshilin. Hello, hello. Super good wind. Yeah, we're not smithing today, Kolshi. Well, we probably will later, uh, but not uh, with the hop hammers anyway. We'll probably need to make some more tools. Pomegranate wine. Says Burnzilla. That could be tasty. Already got that one. Ah, here we go. All right. Not a bad haul. We got. Another tree back here. We also have olives so we can fry stuff. I mean, we could always fry it in, in fat, too. But yeah. I guess peanuts, too. We could If we had peanuts, we could make uh, peanut oil. Alright, and then the last one under here, kind of. Eh. There we go. Perfect. It's going to be pretty sizable trees eventually. And Giovanni is here. Hello, Giovanni. Welcome to the stream today. Do I have expanded cooking? No, I don't. No, I just do regular cooking. I, so... 
my thing with the expanded cooking is it's really cool and creative, um, but there's already um, you know a million options for cooking, so it doesn't really appeal to me in the way that does for some folks who like to have that sort of roleplay variety. Okay, let's see. I have to go through here to get there, do I? Yes, I do. There we go. I do enjoy the picking sound. And Seraphim had a pomegranate tree. Growing up. You know, I've I've had pomegranate. The flavor is great, but like eating them is such a pain in the butt. <laughs> Oak Tree says, uh, free trees are one of the weaknesses of the shorter playthroughs, like 100 to 200 days. They are, yeah. That's why I'm always like, uh, when people are like doing those challenges, I'm like, eh, okay, that'll be fun for a while, but then, you know. I guess, I guess you'll just give up on half what the game offers. And we have a Brazilian with internet access. Hello, hello. Once these trees fully, like, mature, I'll probably. I was thinking about how to how to actually get all the fruit because they'll get pretty tall and and wide, and I think I might just leave it. Frankly, we're gonna have so much food from these trees. We have let's see, uh, yeah, so one, two, three, four, five, five and a quarter stacks of pomegranate, and I'll get the same from the apples too. I'm gonna guess or not apple, apples, olives, the small. Apples with pits in them. You know, those apples. So I don't think we'll be hurting for food anytime soon. Alright, let's get... Did I get zero from that one? Literally? <laughs> I think it did. But yeah, once once we get these growing, like, where they, they have branches I can't reach, I'll just leave those branches. We have a, yeah, hello. We do have a two block tall uh, trunk here, which is great. I do like once they get to the sides, you can actually walk underneath the branches rather than like sticking your face in them. Alexandrus is currently in the guide series two and you just finished the residence archive in your own game. Hey, awesome. Hope you got a lot of cool stuff there. Can I reach this one? Why is my cursor going through? Oh, there we go. That's better. Seraphim says there's a technique to eating the pomegranate. You peel the outer skin and the inner skin. Then you, bun you munch the berries a good period of time. But don't doesn't each berry have like a little seed in them, too? You can, like spit out. Because you, you can't you can't swallow them or a tree grows in your stomach. And then you become a dryad. Hey, thanks, Alexandrus. I'm glad you find the uh, the series useful. I always like to hear that you know the series is doing what it's meant to do and helping people play the game. Because I've, I've seen some folks who bounce off this game because they're like it's too involved. Um, and I think they're the kind of people who who tend to not also play things like uh, oh, Terra Firmacraft for the other block game. Did I think about that name there for a second? Pumpkin Rot says that doesn't happen. You mean you, you don't think people turn into trees from eating seeds? I mean, my sister ate a lemon once with seeds and now she's a tree. So, I mean, you do you, man. I'm just, I'm just staying alive. Ah, 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 staying alive. I'll stop. And we have GFN Dowser here. Hello, hello. Thought I saw someone else. Ah, Ash Matheson. Hello. Welcome. And we got Hughes. Oh my, first time watching a stream. Hey, awesome. I was going to say you're a new, new face in chat. Glad to have you here. We're going to be making some, some moves, both great and small, today. 
Okay, we got... Oh my goodness, we got olives. So fewer olives than pomegranates. We did have one more pomegranate tree. We had five... No, we only had... Yeah, we had five trees versus four olives. So that's pretty much right where it should be. I think I might have missed a couple of the under branch or under sides here. Yeah. I'll get that here. And then I think I missed this guy too. Yep. Why do the olives look like a why do the olives look like a wasp? It's like a bunch of olives with leaves sticking out. Uh, oh, I'm getting a stacking bug. Did you guys see that? I had four. I stacked them here and it just disappeared. Love that. So let's get down here. We have five. One of these is fruit. I think this left one's supposed to be fruit. <laughs> Alright, so you guys go in. We have the olives. Oh, and that reminds me. Uh, we need to grab some of these guys. Need to also press the right button. So we need to make some orange dye. We were making some yellow dye last stream. Last non-chores stream. And one of them needs to be upgraded to orange. Or orange. I suppose. So yeah, we're going to just pop these guys in here and seal. That's right. We didn't find... We needed Woad for this, and Woad's going to be up here. Okay. So, uh, before we get to the terraforming, I think I want to sort of keep pushing this die business along. Oh, one day? Oh my goodness. Alright. Uh... Can I stretch this out down here? 4.9 days, yes. Okay. So let's let's keep moving on with the dyes. We only have, I think, two colors we really need at this point. Uh, we have... We need blue. We need red. And I wouldn't mind pink, but I kind of doubt we're going to see pink anytime soon. Uh, but if we find some cranberry bushes, we will, of course, grab them. Uh, so, do I have everything I need here? I think I do. Let's go real quick. Let's go down to this plateau here where I can see like lupins and stuff growing here. We'll probably find some load here. In fact, these yellow dots are probably load. Let's grab some of that. And then we can start farming that eventually. Uh, but I think the first batch will go into dying. Dying. Uh, and then uh, let's see if we can find some cranberries. I doubt it. But if we do, we'll grab them. And then, regardless of cranberry status, we will go... I want to try this, um... Wherever we were digging here, I think it's right here. Yes. So right in here, we, we dug pretty deep to look for cinnabar. But I realized I was, like, kind of... Not too deep, but I wasn't at the optimal depth for, ex like, maximizing our search radius. So I want to go back down there. We're going to go up a couple levels. Like, probably about ten blocks or so. And we'll cut a similar path. And we'll see what we can find. Let's get over here. Am I going in the right direction? Now I am. Our, our resident Brazilian says, do not come to Brazil. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Why not? Or if it's if it's a political, well, I'll just you can just say it's political and I'll uh, we can talk about it outside of a vintage story. Ah, clearing up. Perfect. Take some free food, why not? Hey guys, check it out. Pomegranates. <laughs> I'm going to grab some just to munch along the way since we're going to be... You know, I don't think we'll be here too long, but... Uh, it would be nice to not have to rely on this single meal we have. Okay, so Brazil is definitely a... Reasons not for discussing on stream here. Okay. Yeah, look at that. It was 10. The moment I ate one, it dropped to 4. I have some concerns about the, uh, the fruits here. The fruits is... Grab some of these. This is more than enough, but I just can't help myself. 
All right. How long do these last? 15 days. Not bad. Okay. Let's roll. And we want to go... Yep, right up there, basically. Watch out for bears. And there might be bears, actually. There's hyenas. And we do already have a tap from here. What is it? It is Cassiterite. Okay. We got Momud here as well, and the crazy watermelon. Howdy. Let's get up here. I'm going to just burn these ladders. Don't need them. Get out of here. And of course, there's a tree in the way. There we go. This is quite the plateau. Up, I say. Oh, darn it. More sticks. Who put these darn trees here? Oh, and the sheer cliff face. <laughs> okay. Alright, up we go, I guess. Okay, what do we have up here? Got some cat mint and some heather. Oh, we have some more of this stuff, too. The uh, Edelweiss. Very cool. I am keeping an ear out for bears, though. So this is dwarf furs, not exactly... Oh, they're goats. I thought they were like polar bears. Uh, not exactly um, woad. Keep the Edelweiss, though. Good for decorating. Uh, where is Woad? There's some Woad. I'm going to check it up here first, just to see before we go, you know, down into the forest floor and have to actually, like, come back up here. I might grab some Heather, too. Again, good for decorating. I'll grab, like, a, I don't know, a dozen or two. And then, if we need more, we'll either come back and ransack this place, or we'll just grow some. We should have plenty of room at the eventual temple for flower farms and such. And I do have the mod on that lets you farm flowers. Do I know which one it is? I do not. Ah, whoa, check it out. The reason we're here. Okay. Oh, and some field mushrooms or puff balls. Hello. Uh, and I think we already have cat mint, so I'm going to leave that alone. Got piggies. Uh, here's some more wood over here. If we need to, we will just sleep out here under the stars. Some wood down there, too. Go down there. Briefly. Ooh, that's... Oh, my ankles. Oh, my ankles. Steal some more of these fine white flowers. Let's go great in pots. For interiors. There's some up there, too. I don't recall how many wood we need. I guess I could find out by uh, looking at... The handbook. What do we got here? Uh, Woad. So, Woad Blue Dye is a 1 to 2. Nice. Okay, so we get pretty good bang for our buck there. So, we would need 25 Woad to make a full barrel. And I'm going to want some more to propagate it. Not that I think we'll need a ton of Blue Dye, unless we get into... I do wonder if the mods we have on let us make banners. I guess I could find out, couldn't I? Alright, banner. Bruce Banner. So I can... Okay, well mounted. Ah, we can make banners. If we find the Flag Maker's Banner Blueprint. Okay. So a bit conditional, but it is possible. Good to know.
else we got here? I'm not seeing any uh, cranberry bushes, so I think that's probably going to be a bust. No pink dye for us, but I don't really see us needing pink dye anyway. So not a huge loss. Plenty of blackberries for purple dye or black uh, black currants for purple. more. What's up here, I wonder? Nothing. Nothing but a great view. Alright, let's see. Let's, uh, yeah, we'll just run home. Running home in the dark. So we got, let's see, we got not a ton. Maybe, you know what? Maybe let's stay out one more day. Uh, can I get down here? I, mean, I can get down. Can I get down without dying? Yes. Grab a few more clusters of woad. Because 37 is not bad. It's not great either. You have one more day still. Let's have some fruit. Just fill up on this. That is not woad. And we have Dharma264 and Gerard are both here. Welcome to both of you guys. Good to see you again. And Dharma just got home from work. Well, I'm glad you were hanging out with us tonight. Or did this morning, in my case. I'm guessing it's either night or you have a uh, third shift type job. Let's see... At the first sound of a uh, of a rift, I'm probably going to sleep here. See if we can force it to despawn. More woad. We're on the woad to success. Are we doing 51? All right, now we're good. All right, so let's uh, let's try to get home from here without dying. I think we're going to go... We'll grab some wood along the way, too. Alright. So I'm kind of looking at the map here. What are you? You're goats. Okay. I think those are the goats I saw earlier. So we should be okay. I don't think they're aggressive. I guess we'll find out, won't we? Oh, Dharma had a 12-hour night shift. Oof. That's a rough one. I'm glad it's over, though. And I bet you're even gladder than I am. <laughs> I think this section of the uh, videos will be called, like, Nighttime Flower Picking. Okay, so we don't want to go up there. Let's go around. Can I go around this? Whatever this thing is. I'm going up. I don't want to go up. I want to go down. Oh, we got peat. Nice. All right. Uh, let's go around this way instead. Or while we're here, we could also take a little tip-tap. Let's not destroy the landscape. We'll just take it from the corners. And what do we got here? Hey, we've got uh, Ruby Sticks made it today. Good to see you again. Thanks for being here. We got Love and Muffin Heretic. <laughs> and you still have decent considerate. Okay. Let's work our way around here. Keep our sword out. Ooh. Cornflower, don't mind if I do. I won't use this for dye, but for decoration, mm, no better color. Oop. Okay, that's that's fine. Run away. Running away is all well and good. 
running toward me, less good. We got some birch trees here too. Wow. Someone tell Solston. And Muffin never caught a live stream before. Well, hey, welcome to your first one. Okay. Let the ankle preservation begin. Or destruction, one of the two. No chickens. Oh, hello, hyena. Yeah, whatever. All right. Running home in the middle of the night with only a lantern to guide us. What could be more peak vintage story than this? Oh, yeah, it's medium thrifty, too. Just eat some pomegranates while I run. Feel them sloshing around in there. <laughs> Imagine eating, like, 64 pomegranates, and that's that's your that's your only food for the day. Woof. Oh, that's cool looking. I love watching that glow just, like, come out of the horizon. Our Brazilian is asking what we're doing today. Uh, so we, we already did some harvesting of pomegranate and olive trees. We're on to dyes. Uh, Thank you. I loved that. Uh, so we're going to go and get some cinnabar. Well, we're going to go attempt to find cinnabar again um, by digging a little higher than before to expand our search radius. Because I realized that the um, the the Propix node search, uh, when we were searching last time, we were at about like Y4, I think. So a good chunk of our search radius was actually underneath the mantle. So not not stupendous, <laughs> put it that way. All right, so I'm going to drop you here. You're good for 3.8 days. And we'll just tuck you guys in here. Boop. There we go. All right, let's go. And we're going to throw the woad in here. I'm going to throw the woad. And let's see. That should do. Yeah, I think one of the mods definitely increases the uh, time it takes to make dyes. We also need some more acacia to make that brown dye for that one. Let's go ahead and grab that. We'll also, while we're up here, put our flowers away. Flowers! Buck, 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 buck. There we go. Oh, we got some rotten here, too. I don't know why, <laughs> but we do. <laughs> I put something in there to rot, I suppose. Uh, and I wanted one, two, three, four, five. There we go. Just tuck that rod up here. Hey, you got some more rod even. Even better. Oh, nice. We got two full stacks. While we're here, may as well start up the next batches. All right. Here we go. All right, and then we will sleep to get rid of the Rifties. Kill the Rifties, spare the Swifties. <laughs> there we go. All right. Ooh. Growly boys. I'm going to hydrate while we're here. Oh, that's wonderful. Oh, and my my water decided to sweat and drip all over my checklist paper. Great. Speaking of great, uh, you know, we should probably push along that. How did you? Oh, you spawned in here, didn't you? All right. Get out of here. I don't think, uh, yeah, you probably spawned in here. It's probably a rift right outside the base. Get out of here. All right. Uh, yeah, we'll carve you up. Zed. There we go. There we go. And done. Alright, let's grab a... Do we have a stack? We have a stack. Ooh, boy. Uh, well, let's just... Uh, oops. You guys still here? No. Okay, good. 
Oh, there's one. Hello. Get out of here. Anybody else want a taste of this? I'd call it steel, but it wasn't steel. It's just... It's actually iron. Okay, so. Uh, once again, we're going to check to make sure these are still... Yes, they need one more heating here. Get these pushed along. And uh, at some point, we'll need to go and mine out some of that new iron we found, too. The iron. And maybe, um, maybe we should kill two birds with one stone. And while we're out getting these, well, scouting for Cinnabar, there were, I think, like, three iron deposits we found. We could bring along the bombs and just bomb out one of those a little bit. Maybe not even the whole thing. So I'll just bring this along. Ta-da! And we have our pickaxe, our pro pick, our spare pick, and our spare pro pick. Got those. Uh, we'll want some food, too. Right. Let's have some food. Uh, this is going to fill us more than I want. Sadly. Okay, we'll eat this. Oh, it's not. Okay, good. There we go. Problem solved. One day. Let's go and check out what we can find down in our mines here. Oop. There we go. Of course, I'm at the wrong door. I always think that that is the, uh, the western door. <laughs> I still think it is. I don't, don't know why. Something's just wrong with me. Or my sense of direction. And that looks really cool. You know... When we, when we start building our, our big base, I do think we're going to need a, a double hedgerow of these uh, green cypress in some places. Because like a single row looks good, but a double, hmm. Hey, and we have Elite Arbor here as well. Good morning to you. I feel like I'm forgetting something. I don't, don't know what it is, but I feel like it. No, I think I'm good. I should make the charcoal district the first to get to a million kilos of charcoal. <laughs> Actually, I never really do huge charcoal burns. Because in general, you don't need that much charcoal unless you're really strapped for other coals. And if you're strapped for other coals, it's usually because you're not exploring enough. Like, yeah, coal might be a while away, but it it's still there. Like, you can go and just blast out boatloads of brown coal. Little goaties. Hmm. This is very circular. Yeah, never mind. Thought it might have been a uh, meteorite. I should put signs in the doors for the directions. <laughs> but would I read them is the question. Would I get too used to them and be like, oh, okay, sign. Right, we, okay, right. We have to be careful here because we, uh, wait, this isn't it. Is this it? Yes. Okay. So this is this is where we gotta be careful because we we picked our ladders up. Go ahead and drop these down again. Cassava looks like it might be a decent hedge plant. Hey, you know what? That's probably true. Um, we could plant it and then just never harvest it. Now, granted, it would it would have the the farmland underneath it. So I'm not sure how to disguise that. Aside from like planting in like a, a little ditch or something. But we'll see. What do I think of the terrain generation of industry? I think it's okay. Um, I don't like how spiky it is in general, and I think that's a complaint shared by many. Um, but overall, you know, it's, it's fine. Alright, so I'm going to block this off here. 
All right, so we were down. Yes, we were at four. Okay. Let's go up. We'll go up like 10 blocks. So we'll go to 14. And hey, we already have a thing here. Uh, and then we'll just, we'll go in the same direction. Um, and that way there's a little bit of overlap, but not a ton of it. And we'll just sort of do the exact same pattern we did before. So we'll, we'll basically go eight blocks. So here's five. And then we'll go six, seven, and eight. And here we'll do a tippy tap with this in node search mode. Are you kidding me? This. Okay, I wasn't expecting that to happen. All right. Uh, okay. Uh, well, it looks like we were right next to it, apparently. Um, well. All right, that's a little ridiculous. I was expecting for, you know, some challenge. <laughs> Let's see what we got here. Trace here. And we're getting medium there. And even more hematite. What's Cinnabar for? Cinnabar is for red dye. Have nothing that direction. Okay. I'm going to guess medium here. And Den and Tonic made it. Hey, Den and Tonic. It's good to see you again. Lar large amounts. Okay. Well. <laughs> Trace up, down, N-E-W. Oh, well, it's not down, that's for sure. Because down, down is where we've already checked, so it's not down there. You can look up, too. I think we can reach one more block here, can't we? No, we cannot. Okay. We'll just jump. <laughs> tap, tap. Tap, tap. Tap, tap. We'll get it eventually. Just close your eyes, guys. It's fine. Trace up there, too. So probably around the level that we're on. Alright, so it's large here. It's probably not going to be large that way. What do we got here? Back to trace and very large hematite. Okay, I think we know about the hematite. And we have... Large. Okay, so we're large here and here. Making our way toward it here. Right, go this way. Once we get to one more large, we'll probably look up and down at that point. Probably up, most likely. Oh, well, very large. Okay. Hematite huge and cinnabar large. Okay. So I think we're going to go up to here and then we'll search up and down. Let's see what we got. Oh. Oh, it's hematite. Okay. Uh, are we looking up here or we're looking down? We're looking up, apparently. Okay. Things are looking up, that's for sure. Okay, we got hematite and we got cinnabar right here. Well, that's pretty sweet. Let's dig in. Mmm. Mmm, this is so tasty. Mmm, tastes like cinnamon. Tastes like brain damage. All right, guys, so we're going to have some red dye for later on. And we're going to have to crush this in the pulverizer first, so um, it's not going to be immediate. We can't just dunk this in the uh, in the barrel. Katie Cat feels plaques are underrated. I, I don't know. I think they're, they're neat, but man, I don't like them. Like, making them is such... Like, for, for some fancy labels, sure, it's great. Didn't quite make it. Um, but I think they're very expensive for what you get out of them. Uh, plus, you can use Cinnabar for red font. You can do that with uh, signs, too. Doesn't require a plaque. Okay. I think, let's see, Cinnabar and dye. Red dye. Okay, so Cinnabar, it is... Oh, Vermilion. Can I get the regular stuff? 
Where is this? Oh, okay. Hang on. Oops. Cinnabar. Pull rises into crushed cinnabar. And then we crush again. I guess. Oh, we, gr we grind it. So we, so we got to crush it in the pulverizer first, and then we got to grind it. And we get two. And then we use it for red dye. Oh, so we just actually, I think it doubled the output. I'm pretty sure. That's, a little, that's generous. I'll take it. We've got Joshua, Joshua Seward here. Welcome, Joshua. We are doing dyes today, since you're asking. We're doing dyes. We're doing uh, some terraforming and breaking ground for the new temple once we're done here. I wonder if I put you down here. 12 hours versus 21 hours. Okay. We'll keep it. Oh, because it's 49 degrees Celsius here. Sweltering down here. Oh my. It's a bit of a hall. A Monty Hall. Any more that direction? Probably not. Getting a little spooky down here. But that's okay. Spooky is my middle name. Oh my. You know what? I'm going to uh, drop a torch. Maybe even a few torches. How about that, guys? Torches sound like a brilliant plan here. There we go. <laughs> it's like, oh, right. I forgot about that part of the game. Creepy crawlies. Brazilian says it's quite toasty down here. Oh yeah, yeah, we're we're sweating down here. What do I think of Lay of the Land, Pumpkin Rot? I'm not sure what you're talking about. The D and D spell, <laughs> or is Lay of the Land a mod? Deep enough that the Grally Boys can be the unfun ones. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we are in danger zone. And Lake Filter and Mash made it today. Hey, awesome. Welcome, guys. Well, everyone, that's about all the time we have for this episode of Vintage Story Desert Life. I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, let me know by leaving a thumbs up or a comment in the section below. But as always, my name has been Kurazar. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.